Hey everyone, get ready for a wild ride because we've got a ton of mind-blowing facts coming your way. Today we're delving deep into the animal kingdom, history, and science. So don't go anywhere. You won't believe what you'll discover. Rio de Janeiro has a surprising claim to fame. It was once the capital of Portugal. This unique situation arose due to some dramatic European events. Fleeing from Napoleon's invasion, the Portuguese royal family made a daring escape to their colony in Brazil. In a bold move, they established Rio de Janeiro as the temporary capital of Portugal between 1808 and 1821. The axolotl is a type of salamander that can regenerate its limbs, spinal cord, heart, and other organs. This remarkable regenerative potential has been attributed to Axolotl's lifelong neoteny, characterized by the exhibition of embryonic characteristics at the adult stage. Sea sponges are some of the oldest multicellular animals on Earth, with fossils dating back over 500 million years. Sea sponges are very simple creatures. They lack organs, a brain, and even muscles. But what they lack in complexity, they make up for in efficiency. Their bodies are covered in tiny pores that allow them to filter water, drawing in food and oxygen and expelling waste. Did you know that deep water sponges can live for quite a long time? Some scientists reckon that glass sponges might just be the oldest critters around, with experts suggesting they could live up to a whopping 15,000 years. Whether it's hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands, that's a seriously impressive period to be kicking around. Flamingos don't come out of the egg sporting that iconic pink hue. Their feathers get their rosy tint from a natural dye called canthoxanthin found in their diet of brine shrimp and blue-green algae. When flamingos are in zoos, they might lose their color over time unless zookeepers give them extra canthaxanthin in their meals. The mantis shrimp has the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom, with 16 color-receptive cones. Humans have three, and the ability to see polarized light. Dragonflies have one of the highest hunting success rates in the animal kingdom at 97%, compared to a lion's mere 20%. Caterpillars don't morph into butterflies. Their bodies turn into a protein goop within their chrysalis and rapid DNA-driven cell division takes care of the rest. Let's try to break this down in a simple way. This process is called holometabolous metamorphosis, where the larva, caterpillar, undergoes a dramatic transformation into an adult with a completely different body structure and function. The goop, mentioned refers to a breakdown of most caterpillar tissues except for specialized groups of cells called imaginal discs. These discs, located throughout the caterpillar's body, contain stem cells that are pre-programmed to develop into specific adult butterfly parts like wings, eyes, and legs. Throughout this process, the butterfly's DNA acts as the instruction manual dictating how the imaginal disc cells specialize and form the complex structures of the adult butterfly. Can you believe tug-of-war used to be an Olympic sport? It was part of the games in every Olympiad from 1900 to 1920. Praying mantises are the only insect capable of turning their heads 180 degrees. They can also see in 3D, which makes them ideal hunters. Beetles are the largest order, Coleoptera of insects. The roughly 400,000 species make up about 40% of all insect species so far described and about 25% of all animal species. Adult atlas moths never eat. They slowly live off the baby fat they stored while they were a caterpillar, hence their mouths never fully form and they only live about two weeks. Marine birds and some reptiles can drink salt water and fresh water as they possess exocrine glands located in supraorbital grooves of the skull by which salt can be excreted through the nostrils to assist the kidneys in maintaining electrolyte balance. Their cephalic salt glands secrete a sodium chloride, NaCl solution, more concentrated than seawater. 
Salt gland secretion generates osmotically free water that sustains their other physiological processes. Salt is excreted by burrowing or sneezing. Trees are phanerogams, which means they reproduce by seeds, and therefore they have specialized, visible organs of reproduction, namely flowers. On the other hand, a cryptogam is a plant or a plant-like organism that reproduces by spores, without flowers or seeds. All border collies can be traced back to one dog named Old Hemp. Australia is the only continent besides Antarctica that is fully south of the equator. The only continent without an active volcano is Australia. Don't forget to subscribe. In the 1840s, camels were introduced into Australia to help explorers travel in the outback. There are now over one million feral camels in the country. The bacterium that causes smelly feet is also responsible for smelly cheese. Onychophagia is the medical name for nail-biting. Antarctica contains about 90% of the world's ice and about 70% of the world's freshwater. The Antarctic ice sheet is the largest single mass of ice on the planet. It covers more than 14 million square kilometers or 5.4 million square miles. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with wind speeds reaching 200 miles per hour or 320 kilometers per hour in some places. Turtles live on every continent except Antarctica. Mind-blowing, right? The instinct babies have to hold on tightly to an adult's finger is called the palmar grasp reflex, and it is left over from when ancestral young primates had to hold on while their parents swung from tree to tree. Heading out into space, did you know that Neptune's moon, Triton, does something pretty unusual? It orbits the planet in the opposite direction compared to most moons in our solar system. It has a, a retrograde orbit. In fact, it's the only big moon that does this funky backward dance around its planet. Scientists think Triton is a Kuiper Belt object captured by Neptune's gravity millions of years ago. The entire Pluto system has four small satellites, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx, that orbit a binary planet that is composed of Pluto and its largest moon, Charon. Charon actually does not orbit Pluto. Rather, Pluto and Charon orbit a common center of gravity called a barycenter, located just above Pluto's surface. Did you know that the Whirlpool Galaxy, M51, was the very first thing astronomers spotted as a spiral? Its majestic arms, swirling gracefully, are like highways made of stars, gas, and specks of space dust. These arms are like cosmic nurseries, squeezing hydrogen gas to birth clusters of brand new stars. Now let's return to the animal kingdom. Seahorses are the only fish that swim upright. The slowest fish is a seahorse. It swims so slowly that a person can barely tell it is moving. The inland Taipan, also known as the Western Taipan, takes the crown as the most venomous snake on the planet. Just one nip from it packs enough venom to take down over a hundred grown folks, and it can do the job in a mere half hour if you don't get help fast. Luckily, these deadly serpents hardly ever cross paths with humans. The honey badger is known for its toughness and fearlessness. They have been known to attack and kill venomous snakes and can even withstand bee stings. Manta rays have the largest brains of any fish with specially developed areas for learning, problem solving, and communicating. They might even recognize themselves in mirrors, a sign of self-awareness. Here's a fun fish fact. As a fish grows, it doesn't add new scales. Instead, the scales it already has just get bigger. So, kind of like tree rings, these growing scales form rings that show the age of the fish. Otters have this adorable habit of holding hands while they snooze, ensuring they stay close and don't drift apart. It's just too cute for words. Did you know that the T-Rex lived closer in time to humans than to the Stegosaurus, showing just how ancient these creatures really are? Dolphins have a wild trick up their sleeves. They mess around with toxic pufferfish to get a bit of a buzz. When dolphins play with these pufferfish, they release toxins as a defense. 
These toxins can be dangerous in large amounts, but they also have a sort of narcotic effect, and it seems like dolphins are into it, enjoying a powerful hallucinogenic experience. 300 million years ago, insects could get really big. Millipedes and centipedes could get larger than humans, dragonflies as big as eagles, the beetles were the size of a large dog. The leading theory is that ancient bugs got big because they benefited from a surplus of oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. The word procrastinate comes from Latin, meaning to put off until tomorrow. And there is another word, perendinate, that means to put off until the day after tomorrow. Hope these facts have blown your mind. Whether it's science or history, there's always something new to learn. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.